What's going on everyone? This is Marshmallow Matt and welcome today to a game called Helping Hand. Now this game is all about non-verbal communication. Just imagine if you broke every bone in your body except for one hand. Um, that's basically what you're doing in this game. And it's all about communicating with people without actually talking and that's as much as I know. I'm, I'm excited. I know a few different communication forms uh, with using just one hand. Uh, I mainly use them while I'm driving, or I shouldn't say them. It's one in particular. Um, I give people thumbs up when they drive well. Anyway, uh, let's move on. Let's play this game. Helping hand play. Oh. <laughs> oh, I'm still in the hospital. Oh, good. You're awake. We were worried about you. Thanks, doctor. Don't panic. Okay, so I can use one, two, three, and four. You've been in an accident, but you're okay now. Okay. Well, I mean, you're alive. What? I'm alive? <laughs> this might be hard for you to hear, but almost every part of your body is broken. Your toes? Broken. Your fingernails? Broken. Not my nails. I just got them done. The muscles in your mouth? Broken. <laughs> Unfortunately, the only thing you can use to communicate with now is your left hand. Well, fuck you. Anyway, how are you feeling? Um, there. That's how I feel. How do you feel about that? Hmm. Maybe the morphine you has gotten to your head a little bit. That's okay. We'll let you sleep it off. Fuck you, man. For now, if you ever need to communicate with us, just use your hand. Alright, I think it's time to introduce you to the nurse. <laughs> Doctor's already done with me. Barbara, he's ready for you. What? Who's crying? I said he's ready for you. Oh. Oh, yep. Great. Another shitty job for the oldest nurse in the building. Why do I always get the gross ones? Oh, God, look at you. Look at you, bitch. You're disgusting. Fuck yourself. Fuck you. How do you feel about that? You better watch it, you little punk. Just because you're a cripple doesn't mean I didn't finish that. Now, now, nurse. Let's try to be as sympathetic as we can. Yeah. Be sympathetic. Uh, be sympathetic with me. You little asshole. I'm going for a smoke! Haha. <laughs> okay, never mind, Nurse Barbara. She can be a little cranky. She'll be in charge of taking care of you every day. Okay. She will clean your vitals and clean your catheter. No. 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 I'll be as nice as I can. I love her. Rock on. Oh, and one more thing. If you ever need Nurse Barbara, just press the blue button. Careful, though. Not to bother her. Try not to bother her too much. She might not come back if you call her too often. Okay. Where's the blue button? Um. Oh God. Who's this? Oh my darling. My poor baby. Uh, you look like you're in so much pain. You're right. What happened to you? What do you mean, what happened to me? Uh, two things happened to me. I wish your father could be here, or your father wishes he could be here, but you know him. Always in a meeting. Oh, that's okay, I understand. He sends his love to you, though. Oh, rock on. We were both so worried when you didn't get home last night. Are you going to be okay? Um, yeah, the, do the doctor hasn't been around today. I'm sure he's busy with other patients. Yeah, other patients that have everything broken in them. You know, Cindy messaged me to ask about you. Who's Cindy? I told her I haven't see had the chance to see you yet. She was so shocked that I didn't come to her straight away. What was I supposed to do? Who's Cindy? I mean, it's not like I could just walk here whilst doing the emergency operation on you, or whatever it's called. Um, and besides... I had to look after your little sister because she had just fallen asleep. I couldn't risk waking her up. Okay, yeah, if you have a kid and uh, she falls asleep, yeah, you better leave that, like, let that kid sleep. Anyway, I took the time to make you a sandwich. Fuck you. I heard that the food here can be a bit bad. Oh my goodness! Oh, sorry, was that rude? What has gotten into you? You're so mean to me. That's what got into me. Don't you know I drove all this way to see you and this is how you treat me? Get out. What do you have to say for yourself? Well, I've never. <laughs> How could you be so rude to your own mother? Get out. What is the matter with you? You're grounded. All I wanted to see if my baby was okay and this is how I'm treated? 
with this disgusting behavior? Sorry. What do you have to say for yourself? Get bent. Get the fuck out of here. Well, I've never. How dare you? You already said that once. How can you be so rude to me? When all I've done is love you. I just wanted to come here and see how you were. And this is how you treat me? Horrible. Well, with that attitude, you can forget about your medical aid being paid. Fine, I'll pay it myself. Get wrecked. Get the fuck out of here. What happened? Am I dying? You were rude to your mom, and as a result, she stopped paying for your medical bills. The hospital refused to keep you in the ICU because of unpaid bills. You tragically died on the streets. Did they just dump me out into, like, the fucking back alley and let me die? Okay, are there multiple endings for this game? I think there might be. Uh, let's try it again. Let's just be more friendly this time. Okay. We're gonna be friendly to everyone. <laughs> Hi! Oh, good, you're awake! <laughs> yeah, fucking doctor. We were worried about you. Uh, what else can you do with your hands? Can you do a thumbs up? No, that's a thumbs down. You've been in an accident, but you're okay now. Yeah? Wah, 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 wah. I'm practicing the trumpet. I'm alive, yeah? Go on. Go on. I know, every part of me is broken. I feel like my IV bag is lower than it was the last time. Yeah, my toes are broken, my fingernails are broken. Um, the muscles in my mouth broken. Boo. Unfortunately, the only thing you can do now is communicate with your left hand. Anyway, uh, yeah? You have a question for me? How are you feeling? I'm not feeling good. Mm. Well, we put you on a lot of morphine since you got here. That should help with the pain. Okay, good. Anyway, if you ever need to communicate to us, just use my left hand. Thank you. Alrighty. Ten, whoop, ten, four. I think it's time to introduce you to the nurse. Okay, I'm ready. Bring Barbara's bitch ass in here. She's gonna be rude to me again, isn't she? I already know it. I already know it! Barbara, come on! He's ready for me! Or ready for you! He already called you! How many more times do you need to be called? She's just so grumpy. Is this whole thing just like a challenge for me to be nice to everyone while they're being rude to me? Ugh. Yep, look at me. Look at you, bitch! Do you think you're handsome? You have no nose. Hmm, that's mean. What's that supposed to mean? You little reckless cripple? Look at you! <laughs> uh, kill him with kindness, Matt. At least we know your bones aren't made of rock and roll. Now, now, nurse. <laughs> okay, let's try to be as sympathetic as we can. Yeah, try to be nice to me. Try to be empathetic. Sympathetic, schmempathetic. I don't like that. You better have control of your bladder. Nope, I'm wetting myself all day, every day. And guess who I'm gonna call to come clean it up? Barbara. Barbara, you better bring them up, bitch. Alright. Ah, uh, she's gonna check my catheter. Well, good. Good for her. I'll try to be as nice as I can. 10-4. Oh, one more thing. Yeah, press the blue button. I still don't know where the blue button is. And if it's not right next to my hand, I don't know how I'm gonna call her. Okay. Gotcha. Gotcha, Doc. I'm in good spirits today. One, two, three, four. One, two, three, four. Thumb. How many fingers do I have? I have one, two, three, four fingers. Four fingers? Four fingers. And a thumb. I have all this. Oh, my darling. Yes, Mom. I'm going to be super nice to you today. I hope you're happy about that. Um, I'm in so much pain. Yep, I am. Are there more people past mom if I'm nice? I'm gonna be nice. I'm gonna be super nice and just A-okay everything. A-okay, mom. Yeah, dad's always in a meeting. Too busy to come see me in the hospital when everything is broken. And he sent my love. Although I'm glad you, uh, I'm glad you took the time out of your busy day of making sandwiches and, uh, watching my sister sleep to come see me in the hospital. Thank you. Thank you so much. God. This lady is a bitch. And I don't know who Cindy is. Is that like my girlfriend or something? I don't know. I don't know. She's too, uh, she's too lazy to come see me too. Nobody really fucking cares. Um, I'm waiting. I'm waiting for a decision to make. This is all stuff that I've already read once. And, uh, where is it at? Come on. Come on, Mom. Let me be nice to you. Let me be nice to you. Yeah, you had to look after my sister because she had just fallen asleep. I, I, I cannot, I can accept that though. That's... That's okay. I know how she is when she gets woken up. She's a little she's a little brat. I know. Let her sleep. Yeah, the food here is bad. Thank you so much for my sandwich. 
Yeah. Can you open your mouth, sweetie? Uh, what? I was nice. Okay, sweetie. What? Does that mean you're okay? Yes. Can't you speak? No. Oh, honey, I'm so sorry. You must try and get some rest. Okay. My poor little thing, you must be in so much pain. You know, I once sprained my ankle trying to play tennis with your father at the clubhouse. I swear I have never felt so much pain in my life. Okay, Mom. Okay. Okay, sweetie. I still don't know what you're trying to say, but I'm happy that you're alive. Yeah, you know pain. I promise that I'll come visit you soon when you get out of the ICU. Take care of my sweetheart. Okay. Yeah, I love you. Um, I love you too. So, or is that just rock on? I don't know. But anyway, yeah, I, uh... She knows pain. She sprained her ankle once, so she understands what I'm going through right now. That's empathy. Is there someone else coming? Oh, <gasps> blue button! Should I press the blue button? Blue button. Um. Whoa, what is this? I pushed it. Oh god, Barbara's gonna be mad. Mumbo. What is it, you little pest? I don't wanna have to look after you the whole day. I have better things to do. Okay. What is it, you little pest? Nothing. Rock on. I, uh, rock on. Uh, uh, what? I don't really have time for you, you little silly buggers. Here, I'll empty your catheter and fill your drip. Thank you. Don't bother me again, you stinky cripple. Got it. Got it, Barb. You enjoy the rest of your day now. You fucking bitch. Hopefully she didn't see that. Get the fuck out of here. Okay. Yeah. <laughs> hey, okay. Fuck yourself. Um... Ooh, I pushed it. Oh god, I called her again. She's gonna be so pissed. Don't be pissed, please. Please don't be pissed. I'm so sorry. What? Uh, I'm hurting. I'm hurting. There's nothing wrong with you, little twerp. Okay, I'm sorry. I just checked on you. Oh god, what is she gonna do? Now leave me alone. Got it. I'll leave you alone. Sorry. I will not press the button. I didn't mean to press it again. It put it right in front of me. What am I supposed to do? Not press the button? Don't give me the blue button again. Don't put it down there. I don't want to see it. How long do I just lay here? I have no visitors. I can't press the blue button. I'm just... I'm just... Nothing. <gasps> what the fuck? Why, hello there, child. This is a priest. What is he wearing a... Like, the bling CB jewelry for? The doctor said that I can... That you cannot speak. My name is Pastor Daniel. I'm here today to help you through your pain and torment with the power of prayer. For there is something, there is nothing that our Lord and Savior, Chewy Boy, cannot do. Chewy Boy? Uh, would you like me to join me now as we pray to the Holy Father? No. No, get away from me. Oh, I see. <laughs> yeah? You're not religious, are you? No, I'm not. Go away. Well, I think you should reconsider. Okay. There is... A reason that you are alive, and if our Lord and Savior didn't see, didn't fuck me, then I didn't know you'd be here. Then I don't think you'd be here with us. So please, I'll ask you again. Yeah, join me in prayer as we worship our Lord and Savior, Chewy Boy. No, take this. Now, now. Yeah, don't be so negative. Here, is this negative enough for you? You best stop that behavior immediately. I promise you'll regret it if you do not stop. Right, that's it. What? What's happening? You've left me no choice but to cleanse your soul from the demon inside of you. It's such a pity. You've such a potential for us and our Lord. But now, I guess you'll have to suffer for your sins. Said little, uh, he's speaking Latin to me. He's performing an exorcism. Viva mus vel, vivus vetae magma. Condimentium apparent. With a crown in there. Ut uters or porters corvele equale met. I'm dying now. I'm dead. I'm fading to black. Oh my god. You angered the priest and as a result he decided to perform an exorcism on you. You tragically died as your body could not handle the demon juices running through your veins. Okay. So there are multiple endings of this. That's fucking awesome. Uh, if you guys want me to try to play this game and see if I can find some more endings, let me know down in the comments below. But yeah, this game, uh, Helping Ham. This is really cool. It, it kind of reminds me of like the surgeon simulator mechanics, but less stressful. 
because you just have to lay there and respond to people instead of trying to perform an operation. Definitely sounds better to me. Anyway, thank you guys so much for watching this episode. I hope you guys enjoyed it. And uh, like I said, if you do want me to try to see if there's more endings in this game, just let me know down in the comments and leave this video a like, and I'll see you guys in the next episode. Bye!